Ellsbury from Acrylic Art Paintings. Welcome to my channel. All right, these are the colors I'm gonna be working with today. I'm going to put this on the side a little bit because this one has the medium already. But these ones are straight from the bottle. I'm gonna be using Elmer's glue. Um, this is pure Elmer's glue, glue, doesn't have any water yet. So one part of Elmer's glue to one part of paint approximately. And, um, and then incorporate and then we're gonna be adding the water. But just wanted to show you that I use Elmer's glue straight from the bottle now. So now I'm going to incorporate the paint and this is when sometimes you ask me about well, Patty, this looks like goo. So I'm going to be adding water until I get to the right consistency. And you see, you see how, how thick it is? It looks like literally like goo. So I just keep adding water. That's it, don't freak out. Just wanted to show you that the same thing happens to me. So see, I added water until, see, keep adding water, until it gets to this consistency. See, see how, how liquid it is now? See, see the, the thread? Anyway, I'm going to take now the white paint and I am going to put it in the canvas. Of course, I'm going to mix it off camera, but I just wanted to let you see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to use the torch to burst those air bubbles and kind of give it a better surface to work with. There we go. All right, now I'm going to use the metallic gold and three in one sewing machine oil. And I'm going to use about seven drops of the three-in-one lubricant. This is not the one that has silicone in it. So in the previous video, I have used four drops only. Today, I'm gonna use seven. And so I'm pretty sure I drowned it, but it's okay. I just wanna show some of the things that you do and why it doesn't work. So now in a diagonal shape from one side to the other, I will put the gold in the middle because this is one that I'm gonna use to swipe. Now I'm gonna use my paper towel and approximately half of my line, I'm going to make sure that is all ready to go and I'm gonna start carefully swiping it. And I see a little thing in there that I don't like. All right, anyway, torch a little bit. Nope, no cells. I pretty sure drowned it. But like I said, it's okay because I'm gonna be working with a balloon technique making flowers so I really don't need cells. <laughs> um, now the same thing on the other side. I'm with the other half of my gold stripping here. I'm pressing the towel to make sure that it has, that it's gonna run. And there we go. I like these uh, backgrounds. Like I don't like like plain negative space. I kind of like something in the background. So I mix these two colors that you see here it's just a little tiny drop of the dark blue and this lighter blue is just that dark blue that you're seeing in there with white. And now with my little balloon, I'm going to push and smash those two drops with my two hands to have control of the balloon. Because it, it really wants to slide, I'm telling you. So I still have a little bit of paint left in my balloon and so I'm gonna try to do another one in here. Eh, okay, I'm not very happy with it. So I'm going to add a little bit more of paint in there. The other thing that I wanted you to notice is that I, I am using the 
two um, similar colors. See, that's pretty much the same color, different hues, different tones. I don't like to use contrasting colors like this because other, sometimes it just, when they mix, they create either brown tones or gray. So see, now it looks better. Now the one thing with this balloon technique is we want to smash it, wiggle it, and lift. Don't let it slide because when it slides, then it makes like funky shapes. So at least I like it. See, if you're in that sort of thing, that's great. Good for you. It's not going to hurt my feelings, but me, I like my round flower shapes. Now in this, as you can see, I'm using orange and I'm using yellow. Again, just like the other one. So it was uh, two shades of blue. Now I'm using similar colors as well. So I still have a little bit of paint in my balloon and I'm gonna try to do another. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. See, there is some spaces in there that need a little bit of paint and that's okay to put the, the balloon in there with, with different colors. So I am going to continue working on this and this is where you come in. So if you're enjoying this video and learning something from it, give me some love and hit that like button and um, this, it helps me a lot. Share the video so that other people, oh, look at that. See, hi, look at the balloon. Oh, those are awesome patterns. So what I was saying was like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to help others create art as well. So this is now all done. I like the way it looks except for that part in here, but I'm gonna let it uh, dry and then I'm going to paint it white and do some retouches of gold and it's gonna be okay. Now in this little cup in here where I had my gold paint, I'm going to mix glitter with the glue I know you can't see it in there, but you will, I promise. There it goes. So I'm using my glitter here, because you know I like glitter, and my Elmer's glue. No water, just a plain Elmer's glue. And what I'm trying to do here is create a little paste. See, I'm just mixing it up as is, and there is my little paste. And with this, I'm going to put some dots to put in the center of my flowers. I'm doing this because I'm trying to create harmony between this glitter when it dries and the gold that I use for the swiping background. So, it's really nice. So what do you think? Do you guys like it? I like it. I mean, you can, of course, use your own colors, but I really like this color combination. Okay, this is it. It's already dried. See, I told you it was going to look good. I love it. That's the part where I cover with white and then put a little bit of uh, some strokes with, with gold. I really, really like it. What do you think? I love it. Ah. Uh, and um, so I don't know, this big one, does it look better on the bottom or on the top? What do you think? Tell me in the comments. And uh, I'm excited about this. I even uploaded to my Redbubble account. See, check it out. There it is already. And um, there's my account, acrylic art paintings right there. And see, it made a little skirt and cell phone covers and all kinds of good things. This is one of my favorite ones is pillow covers. See, check out how pretty it looks as a pillow cover. What do you think? You like it? I love it. And see, 
It has wall clocks and all kinds of toes, all kinds of beautiful things. It's all about art, people. So thank you for joining me today. If you decide to try this technique, come and share it with us in our group on Facebook. Till then, keep painting.